Growing up, I always had tics. Always had like wrinkling of the nose, blinking, right from a very, very young age, like an infant. And a lot of family friends would always pick up on it and say, hey, hey, Seamus has got a bit of a tick. I wouldn't say mum was in denial, but she would kind of brush it off and go, it's fine, it's just something he does. And then as I grew older and around the age of between eight to 10, it got really bad. Like we're talking tick fits, grunting really hard. <clears throat> <clears throat> flicking my head, flicking my hands and not knowing what the hell was going on. Freaking out and getting frustrated and my mum having to calm me down in the kitchen because it was just so overwhelming. And when you're at that age and you don't know what's going on, why your body keeps doing it, you feel possessed. Then my nana was actually watching a 60 Minutes documentary and she called my mum and said, you need to watch this doco right now on Channel 9. This is exactly what Seamus has. And then we watched it and went, hey, that does sound like me. And then we begun on the uh, going to the GP, then the specialists and things like that. And the age of 10, I got diagnosed officially with Tourette's syndrome.